in the presence of my colleague, the research consultant for the UPND, Mr. Oliver Chagat. For me, for us, this morning, I take occasion to interact with the rest of the nation in what I believe will be the shortest briefing I've ever addressed. Today, we come live from the UPND Secretariat in Lusaka. For us to make clear our position regarding the matter of the arrest of the Deputy Permanent Secretary, Oluapula, and his team, and also the arrest of the mayor for Mongo because we have been receiving numerous inviting calls from you dear colleagues from the media for us to state our position on the matter. So as the nation will be aware, yesterday Zambia police arrested the DPS or Deputy Permanent Secretary for Wapula Province, Mr. Roy Mansa, Mchelenye District Commissioner, Mr. Msonda Mtepuka, Mansa Wombwe District Commissioner, Mr. Morton Scott, for offenses alleged to have been committed by them in relation to mining and of transportation of a mineral called sugilites. We, as UPND, the party in government, would like to put it very clear and categorical what this arrest means. It means, number one, This is a clear demonstration and example of the rule of law at play. That regardless whether you are a high-ranking government official, whether you are a member of the ruling United Party for National Development, and you violate the law, the law shall take its course. Would like here to indicate that the people who have been arrested, no doubt, are affiliated to the UPND as they are political appointees of the President of the Republic of Zambia. Now, I would like to indicate here that when a member of the UPND or indeed a supporter or any other such person violates the UPND constitution, they get to be dealt with in accordance with the provisions of the UPND constitution. Similarly, when a member of the UPND or indeed a government official under the UPND government, late government violates the law of the land, such people get to be dealt with in accordance with the provisions of the law of the land. What has happened is a clear indictment that the president and his administration are committed to the electoral promises of upholding the rule of law which entails supremacy of the law and equality of all citizens before the law, and that on this platform, the New Dawn Administration reiterates and reaffirms its commitment to the fight against corruption and all forms of violations against the law. We want to indicate that anyone 
who wants to use police officers in order to cover illegalities will not get their way regardless of their political affiliation. The law is supreme and there shall be no sacred cows. It will be an, a relentless affirmation of the rule of law under the leadership of President Hagainde Jile. We also want to indicate here that anyone who wishes to venture into mining, the government has made it very explicit and clear that such entities or individuals need to apply for a mining license and mine legally. The government of the UPND, led by President Hagani Gile, is averse to travesties of the law and shortcuts, even when those are done purportedly in the name of the UPND. This is not the first time that government officials or indeed those affiliated to the UPND are getting to be at variance with the law and getting arrested by security agencies. You will recall that a few months after President H.H. took over the leadership of the country, youth in Mazabuka who attacked a business premises of someone who supposedly was perceived as being PF were arrested and convicted. You have also seen government civil servants getting arrested for violating the law. And now this new set of colleagues getting arrested, which includes, and I must add, the arrest of the mayor for Mongo, who is a, a UPND mayor. What this tells you is that there will be no one who will get special treatment arising out of political affiliation. And we as UPND, the party in government, will not stand in the way of the law to obstruct or influence or interfere with the course of justice. The law will have to take its due course. That is the position of the UPND on these particular matters. We want to be very clear that as a party, we are not going to allow anyone to use the name of the party and or affiliation there to, to violate the very law that the people of this country voted for the UPND to go and uphold and defend. So the message is very clear. I end my submission this morning. Colleagues, thank you. Thank you, Madam Honorable, and uh, thank you very much, very much for this. In case there are some clarifications or one or two questions that you want to ask, the visiting has been very brief. Yes, the question of the issue of the Mongol mayor, 
I have indicated here very clearly and categorically that any member of the UPND who violates the UPND constitution will be dealt with in accordance with the provisions of the constitution. And any member of the UPND who violates the law of the land, at that particular moment, the moment you violate the law of the land, you cease to be looked at in terms of being a UPND member because the law you have violated looks at you as any person. There, you are dealt with in accordance with the law of the land. As to the question of suspending the mayor, that has not yet reached my desk for me to pronounce myself on the same, but I would like to indicate that uh, we are a party anchored on discipline and the rule of law. But because this is a matter which is already unfolding, it would be prejudicate for me to say what might take place, because if it does take place indeed, it will be like it was planned ahead and therefore undermines the foundations of justice. So, dear colleagues, it's very clear we don't have any questions. Thank you so very much. Yes, Mark. Just away from the press Okay. Thank you very much. Regarding uh, allegations that uh, the UPND are sponsoring the disunity and chaos that has characterized the opposition patriotic front and that we are sponsoring my good friend, Mr. Miles Sam. I would like to indicate that those claims are an admission that the patriotic front cannot survive in the opposition because they are so weak. For all the time that we remained in the opposition under MMD, under the patriotic front, there is no time that the ruling party managed to infiltrate us to the level of causing disunity and cracks within the rank and file of the party. We remained resolved, we remained disciplined, we remained intact. And that is why, even at the highest or height of a national question to do with Bill 10, when some people could have been compromised, the UPND MPs held together and we managed to ensure that we defeated Bill 10. That is why today we have a new Zambia. PF lacked such spine and tenacity. So me, I'm very happy to indicate here that I'm part of the people sponsoring this unit in PF. There's nothing to hide. I am part of those people. I agree with what uh, my colleague Miles Samba is doing. All he is doing is he is calling for order. They asked for members to, to file in those who want to contest, and now they want to start dodging the convention. Let them go to the convention. If they go to the convention, Mao Samba will have nothing to do with, with PF because he might emerge victorious, so he will be the leader. Or he will lose, and then the leader will carry on with PF. So the party in government, UPND, as a party, is not behind any of that disunity and chaos that is characterizing the patriotic front. The UPND has nothing to do with that. But some individuals in the UPND, like me, 
we are enjoying what he has seen. Because we want to see if PF has what it takes to be a reliable alternative voice for the citizens. That is what it is to be in the opposition. That is baby cry by Nagachina and the PF. Let them just accept that time has come for them to tell the nation that they have failed to rebrand and it is time to disintegrate and think of something else to do. There is life after PF. Thank you, colleagues. Thank you. And we have come to the end of today's meeting. Thank you. Yeah. No, you are, if you have a question, we are here for you. Apologies, I don't know for coming second day, but I just wanted to uh, just get your perspective on the various allegations that have been um, uh, provided by uh, your critics, uh, your position for the party that uh, this government has diverted from its uh, pledges to ensure that uh, it addresses uh, pertinent issues such as the high cost of living. Um, and, and I just want to just get your perspective. Well, thank you. Tomorrow I'm on Hot FM, Hot Seat, so I'll answer those questions tomorrow. Let me not preempt my, my colleagues who have invited me. I just wanted to take this opportunity to indicate that it is unethical for a media house to pick out an ordinary member of the UPND and attribute a story to them to say, UPND stands for this. It is highly unethical. When you meet a member of the UPND like this gentleman, what is his name? Tachomwe. He is not an elected official of the UPND to have the mandate to speak on behalf of the UPND. And there, a professional media house cannot give him a headline to say, we as UPND, we stand for this. That's malicious by the daily nation. That's malicious. And I'm taking them to task because they are my colleagues. The media is a fourth estate. The same way you criticize us in your editorials, you must also be ready to be criticized because you perform a public function for which if we do not take each other into checks and balances. What you present as a headline may mislead the nation to be true when in fact not. When you want stories of positions of the UPND, we have elected officials and officials assigned by the party to speak authoritatively with the mandate from the support base of the UPND. So to do and not any political busybody on the streets who identifies by the style and definition of UPND member that they can speak authoritatively on behalf of the UPND and they say this is a position of UPND. Miller's at PF says UPND. That is malicious. We are the country to provide leadership to and that leadership comes from all of us who perform public function both politicians, those in the church, civil service, and more importantly, the media. Because ordinary citizens believe in what the media say, especially established institutions. Thank you. Just on that one. Um, in, in reference to Mr. Hatombo, he has been said that he is on the conference or and on behalf of the committee he was in during the campaign. And he always says there are several groups that were pertaining for, for, for the UPND. And some of them used to be called friends of the UPND, some of the UPND, some of friends of the president. And so this is one of the committee which was the uh, friends of the president. So when he called the press the, the conference, he was at that UPND. He agreed with that committee. So now, having said what I've said in this regard, what action do you intend to take so that the does not benefit and, and, and you protect us, the general, from falling into that trap. I have already indicated the action we are taking is to inform the media that if you want to court as a party position of the UPND, court elected officials holding substantive positions in the UPND or those officials 
assigned by the UPND who may not have come through an election, such as a media director for the UPND. is not an elected position, but is an appointed position. It is an established position for which one has a mandate. Committees that were set up to campaign, we respect the role they played. And once the campaigns were over, all those committees dissolved. They have no legitimacy whatsoever to speak on behalf of the UPND. The UPND has established channels of communication. The president, the vice president, the national chairperson, the secretary general, the party spokesperson, the deputy secretary general. These are the positions, chairman elections. These are the, there are so many positions that we all know. It is not a new creation. So, to begin to rely on somebody you know has no position is absolute malice. Me as a friend of the media of um, two decades now, I know that you can get a position from a member of the UPND and then still call a substantive office holder and say, your member by this name and who has defined himself as this has said this, how do you react? So that you are able to balance up the story and bring authenticity to your integrity as an institution of the media. No. There are things to punish people for and there are things to ignore. We had not alerted the media, so why would we punish? There is what is called best offender at law. He is not even a best offender. He just made that statement, maybe unknowingly that my colleagues at the Nation would want to make a big meal out of it to, to further their agenda of making you be a debate. Apologies, am I checking about maybe to the things that you've mentioned? Uh, in Wapula, what happened? Are we expecting to see more of such illegality under the UPND than some of your leaders? We know for them to reach to that extent, they might have learned it from someone not doing that. And then also, there were also accusations that that truck which was found was not the only truck that left that mine inside. Three more others are missing. As a party, what is your position with regards to that? <laughs> Let's come as it was. Yes. <laughs> Now, we have already addressed that matter. Firstly, we, we have indicated that uh, the action that uh, the police have taken to arrest those involved, including part of their own uh, uh, police officers, is a living example that under the leadership of uh, President Hakainde Ijen, rule of law shall be upheld there shall be no sacred cow. There will be no discrimination at law as to who is amenable before the law. The law reigns supreme and all citizens are equal before the law. That action alone is meant to send a signal that whoever wants or wanted to do or perform a similar undertaking is standing diametrically opposed to the law, and the law will take its course. No negotiations about it. <clears throat> this, you are able to see for yourselves that the UPND New Don Administration, in its approach to governance, one, is walking the talk insofar as ensuring that rule of law applies to the latter, and then two, that contrary to what we used to see before, where cadres of a ruling party would even have the audacity to storm a police station and begin to slap police officers and take the law into their own hands and get away with it. Under this administration, we are returning to those days of President Mwanawasa, where everyone knew that when you violate the law, the law will visit you. So whoever does that, even us as ministers, we are aware. And we are being reminded in almost every meeting 
to the president. Whoever does this, whether you're a minister, the law will visit you. That is what the rule of law entails. The best is to stay away from violating the law. Then you will not be at variance with anybody. I hope I've assisted you. Thank you. You have, thank you. Thank you very much. You are enjoying your day. <coughs> thank you, dear colleagues, for coming at very short notice. And we hope to interact again. Yes. Parliament is open.